So the first game, Roger State's a really, really good team. I thought, obviously, we got off to a great start. Um, you know, a goal in a minute is great. Um, but then just didn't have the mentality to, to secure it. So let them back in the game. They scored a great goal. Um, you know, we've got to be better defensively on that space. But they scored a great goal. And then it was just a war after that. I mean, um, both teams were, were fighting to the death, as they say. But it was a, a tremendous game. I thought tactically we grew throughout the game. Um, we got better in some of the areas that we really struggled in the first week. Um, and so, you know, unfortunate for us not to be able to get it back on the board. But um, all in all, I was very pleased with our performance. And then, um, then you go to Saturday, second road game. Um, it was honking hot. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, you get a red card nine minutes in. So you battle a player down for 80 minutes on the road, second game in the heat. Um, and I was really, really proud of our effort. Um, I thought, you know, we dominated possession. You look at the stats, we had all the stats. But at the end of the day, you're a man down. And so we had to cover a lot of ground. We had to do a lot of work. Um, and then they did what they were supposed to do. They put the pressure on us there at the end. We've got to be better at managing the clock um, and just understanding game awareness. Even when you're down a player, um, we've got to be better in those moments. And so I would say a weekend full of growth for us, obviously, um, you want to win both games. And so not 100% happy with the weekend, but we grew a ton. Coach, this will be the third press conference we, we have used this term, Road Warrior, and I think your team is certainly listening because yeah. they have taken on the warrior spirit. It has sure. not been pretty the first couple games. <laughs> yeah. But it just seems like they've found a way in every scenario. And whenever you're trying to come together as a team, as you said, that's so important. But just talk a little bit about your team's mentality, um, certainly this weekend, but throughout the season. This team really seems like they have embraced that warrior spirit. Yeah, for sure. I think the difference in us in a year ago – we lose those games a year ago. Um, we didn't have that, I mean, as volleyball calls it, swag, that mental toughness, that confidence in who we are, that we're going to win ugly. You know, we always thought it had to be a pretty way and the way the game model looked and the way the game plan came together. But at the end of the day, in this conference, ugly wins are wins, right? So we have had to learn that. Um, and so I was really proud of that mentality this weekend. I think it's something that we're, we're focused on every single day is that we are not going to get beat this year. We're just not. We're not giving up an inch. And last year we were hoping to win games, and this year we're just not. And so we're going into every game with that battler spirit that um, we're going to take it to you, and at the end of the day we'll see what happens. What has been impressive is eight straight non-conference results. I mean, that's a streak. Whenever you start looking at your ske the schedule you guys have played, yep. that's really impressive. Just talk a little bit about that streak and how you hope that translates, certainly, in the Lone Star Conference play. Yeah, I mean, we kind of have a mentality right now that just every game is a playoff game. Um, and you kind of have to go into it that way. And so, really, we're not necessarily looking at the opponent from – you know, who is the opponent, it's how we're going to win this game and how we're going to compete in this game. And, um, and so realistically for us, you know, the opponent is just the logo and the scouting report. Everything else is just this is how we're going to come out and battle in this one. Both games, both of your keepers stepped up this weekend, Daniela Wilkin and then Clark, the other keeper that was spectacular in the final minutes of both games. Yeah. Uh, just talk a little bit about their performances and what makes each of them unique and why you're kind of using that two goalie system. Yeah, no, they're playing tremendous. You know, both of them have a confidence about them right now. Uh, both of them are just playing at a really high level, um, and our team is confident in them. And so um, they both give us certain looks. You know, they're both – they have strengths in certain areas, and so we're able to utilize those strengths in terms of how we're defending right now. Um, but they're both just playing at a really high level right now, and it's honestly fun to watch them compete. Even in training, it's fun to watch them compete. On the road this weekend, Coach, at a Wachita <laughs> Baptist and Harding. I was going to kind of – yeah, no, come up with something no, clever. I don't excited. have anything for that one. Um, just talk about those two teams and, and the opportunity again. Like you said, you guys have had such a uh, great mindset early in this season. On the field tactically, what do you hope to see from your team? Yeah, I mean, we're going to two really difficult places to play against two teams that traditionally are just warrior mentalities. And so we know we have two really great opponents on the weekend. Um, and so we're looking forward to kind of that battle. We're so excited about the battle that's ahead of us. Um, but realistically for us, we know they, they're going to give us trouble. I mean, they're, they're really, really spectacular at home, the, both of these teams. And so it's just like getting ready for the LSC, right? You've got to be able to be a road warrior. And so I think they both you know, give us a little bit different challenge. They play a little bit of st different style, so it's two games with two different styles. Um, but we're excited about the challenge.